Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, like you've been a giant. Like her whole back is just like, wow. And now it's up higher. Oh my god, I told you I felt something in you. Yeah, look how red she is on her back, too. Yeah, that's higher than it was before. No, she's holding the rod, so she's not moving at all. She's staying still. So you hear her make this joke, and then you hear this man laugh at his joke. And then we're, we're not responding to it. So we, she starts asking another question in the middle of this guy laughing. So we're we not hearing it until we played it back. What's up guys, welcome back to our daily life channel. So today we are in Buffalo, made it all the way here. I know I haven't really been on the vlog much, but we've been on the road, you know, doing some pit stops and stuff, but hey, check this out. It's for a little second here. That is an abandoned terminal. Apparently it's super abandoned. I don't know if we're gonna go in it, but uh, yeah, we're here. We got Kim, we got Eva, Chelsea's over there. What's going on, Kim? Hi. <laughs> We're uh, taking a pit stop here. We had a crazy investigation in the past few days. I've just been basically on the road, so I apologize for not being on this channel. And you know, I'm still trying to like repost stuff while we're out here, but basically the whole thing is right now while you guys are seeing reposts and all that stuff we're actually stocking up on some videos too so you'll see a bunch of main channels come out in the future here when you're seeing this we'll probably be on our way back at that point okay stop talking to me if i'm answering and not responding just reason just walker okay so i'm gonna explain something real quick here we went all the way to the rolling hills asylum now if you were to research that asylum the reviews are so bad the place is dope we went to go for a day tour. I'll get into what this video is really about in a second, but the reason why she's mad is basically because we showed up two to four as a tour. <laughs> as a tour, like we paid for it. Between me, Chelsea, and Kim, it was like 130 bucks Canadian. So pushing that aside, we paid 130 bucks altogether. And basically when we showed up, two to four was our tour. We got there at two, okay? You guys are gonna flip. They locked the doors on us, did not let us in. We were knocking, we were calling them. They didn't even pick up the phone. They didn't even call us back. They didn't email us and be like, you're late or anything like that. And plus we weren't even late. We paid for two to four. Like what even is that? So Chelsea's a little bit upset because we went all the way there. And you know Chelsea with like your photos and stuff. She was looking forward to that. Um, so it was a whole thing. They're getting back, you know, blaming us for even being there for two. It was ridiculous. So. Long story short, if you were to go onto Rolling Hills Asylum, look at the reviews, it's brutal. This girl does it to everybody. I'm not gonna sit here, tell you what she's done to other people, you'll see it in the reviews, but it's just unfortunate because we came all the way from Canada to do it. So, it's really crappy, it's very and shady from what she's done to people and her family there, and it's not recommended. So never go to Rolling Hills, don't do it, don't support them. Uh, she's a case and a half and just not really a good person. So for what you guys are seeing is basically Chell's just a little bit upset. Anyways, we'll turn this all around. What you guys are gonna see in this video is basically a full tour at Greystone. Now, I didn't put all of the tour in there, so this is why I'm just kind of putting it all in here for you guys to see right now. Because it's a little bit easier to do that than shove it into a main channel. So, yeah, pay attention to that. Because during our investigation, you guys will probably be able to connect the dots more and maybe give us something that we missed, right? That. That's a really rare bottle <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> 
Look at all these names. Watch your head. Hello. So there's a Ouija board table. Oh my good lord. Right? We used it once, me and Chad. Spoke to some demons, you know? Yeah, no kidding. It's good time. Wake up the whole block. Let me go back here. This place keeps going and going. It's like hallways everywhere. What's up, bro? <laughs> this is where that laugh was caught, though, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> this is Lomar, Lomar, Heather. Hi. Hi. The girls are somewhere. Yeah, they're. Okay. They're <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chelsea, something, something just touched Chelsea's butt. <laughs> Upstairs Aww. in the kids' room. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's. It's really weird. Okay. Yeah, but they do. They they mess around with people. They touch people all the time here. It's really weird. But they like women a lot, so women are usually a good trigger object. Oh, did you want to show you the videos that she had? Yeah. The, the I mean, if they're oh, accessible, yeah. I mean, yeah. as if it's too much. Sure. Yeah, it's just in my phone. It's upstairs. I can grab it. You know, we were not talking about turning off the lights on you while you're down there. I'm locking the door. Not locking the door. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. You must be Heather. Yes. I'm Jesse. Hello. Sorry. Just playing an amazing spot you have. Oh, thanks. And your collections of everything are incredible. Mm-hmm. Wow. This stuff everywhere. <laughs> thank you. Pizza guy. That was going to be my pizza guy. Haha. Let me just drop that. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Sorry. Sorry. I know this isn't the main entrance. Like the front doors are there. But a porch fell years ago, so uh, so we're rebuilding that. So that's why we're kind of doing it. Gotcha. Well, normally you would have more room. <laughs> Kitties. But yeah, I can show you those videos if you want, for sure. Yeah. Hi, Be amazing. Uh, Ma'am. Hey. Hi, Eric. That's Eric. Hi, and Eric. Oh, hi there, Eric. Ah, <laughs> uh, the fluffier girl. Yeah. Doug. Done. So he was the one who was through. And then look at Tabby. Oh, okay. No wonder he's taking yeah. shots now. Yeah. He wasn't there. She's Jeez. the black cat. Oh, he probably won't yeah, see her, but she. Chills. I don't know if you noticed in the hallway there's like a cat door. Yeah. yeah. She'll spy on you guys. Like you'll see her pause and stuff. Like she'll watch you guys from the cat door, which is really funny. Aww. She thinks you can't see her because <laughs> her body's in our part. Because through that door is like our part of the house. Gotcha. So. <laughs> So she's really funny. She thinks she's being sneaky, but <laughs> that's sad. Yeah. So this is in this room here. Oops, that room right there. Mm -hmm. So just so you know what you're looking at, it sounds like an old carriage, and it's morning before they were leaving. They stayed over for the B&B, and they're walking out towards the um, cornfields that are back there. Mm -hmm. And they said they heard this popping sound that was coming under the ground. And as they were walking, it was coming towards them. Underground, which is super weird. It is so weird. So this is what it sounds like. Well, oh, nope, I'm not gonna send it. I could send it, but I sort of want to play it for you first. Do you want to send it to you? No, it's okay. Um, Let me cancel. Yep. And I'll go in so I can just play it. If you want, you can have it. Nope. What did I do? I don't know. Let's go this way. Start <laughs> over. <laughs> um. Just because this one I thought was really strange. Listen. Listen, shut up. It's over there in the field. Yeah. Hear that puppy noise? Mm -hmm. It does sound like an old carriage. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know how it's rickety? Oh, That's so weird. That is. Sounds yeah, just exactly. Yeah. But closer. Alright, radio of it though. You heard you got it? Perfect. But what was freaking them out is it was under their feet. Like it was coming at them under their feet and they were like oh flipping out of it. Wow. Let's go check it out. Okay, so when they started a video. And then they were trying to walk towards it. They're trying to figure out where the sound was coming from, but then it was coming towards them. And these girls were doing they were going Facebook Live all night long. And there's a guy here who likes women a lot, messes with women, touches them, all kinds of stuff. They hope you have weird dreams and stuff when you sleep here. So, Gross. Mm -hmm. Right. Definitely. It's weird. Um, but these girls were at the top of the stairs here, and they were doing Facebook Live stuff, and they were, they were saying they were going to the basement, and they had this guy saying, oh, yeah. 
when they said they're going to the basement. And the funny thing is, they were going Facebook Live. They didn't hear it. Mm -hmm. The people who were watching it were like, "Hey, the guy just said, oh yeah, behind you guys." And they played it back, and they freaked out. We're going to the basement. Oh yeah. We're going to the basement. Oh yeah. We're going That's to the so clear. <laughs> that, yeah, and it was only the wow. girls. Just the, that night, it was just two girls in the house. Nobody else was in here. <laughs> it was just God. them, and, and we were like in our part of the house, but wow. we weren't standing behind them going, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." <laughs> That was oh. really weird. And then people were filming. They were filming themselves sleeping in the green room, and the covers looked off out their feet. <gasps> you have to stop it. And the Cause... weird thing is, they mess with your feet here. They like your feet. Like, they'll uncover your feet. I think it's like, you know, in Victorian days, mm -hmm. for health reasons, like, they always told you to sleep with your feet uncovered because it's supposed to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's somebody wow. doing that, like, trying to, like... Wow. I could play it again for you if you want. Yes, please. I've never seen anything like that. Okay, so... Yeah, there's no sound. It's just the audio, or it's just the video, but... Oops. Sorry, it's that. So the covers like lift and fold yeah. up. <clears throat> wow. Yep. And then in the basement here, the the thing that I sent you. So this is the ghost of Watertown. Ghosts of Watertown. Um, but my friend Derek. It's his, sorry, Bob. So what they're doing. They were getting hits on their stuff. They were asking them to push this pool ball into the pocket. And then they were getting hit, so they knew something was messing around. So that's super weird, because they're just like, God. Yeah, there's been quite a few weird, yeah, really weird things. And I'll play one audio I caught. So this is my footage. But so what this is is um, there was like we, if you stay overnight, we let you investigate. Mm -hmm. And like these people were not paranormal investigators, but they wanted to do some investigating, so we let you borrow equipment, and then we show you how to use it. So we were sitting in the basement, and um, there's nobody else in the house, just the two of them and me. And we're sitting in the basement where the pool table is. I'm like, what, you guys didn't go downstairs yet? Not yet. Um, so that room, that was the room we're in. I was sitting here, the husband was sitting next to me, and the wife was across from me. And she's getting everything lighting up in front of her, and she was getting touched. She said, something keeps touching my arm. It's like touching my leg and my arm. So I started to hit record as I wanted to see if someone was there. And um, her husband makes a joke. He's got a little bit higher voice. So you hear him make this joke, and then you hear this man laugh at his joke. And then we, we're not responding to it. So we, she starts asking another question in the middle of this guy laughing. So we, we are not hearing it until we played it back. So, and it's this long, like, ha, 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 crazy laugh. It's this weird, and we sound, you know when you do EVPs and you sound staticky? Mm -hmm. It's not like clear. We sound like a regular EVP, but he's clear. His laugh is clear. <laughs> And that's my recorder. So it's not like someone sent that to me and messed with it. That was, we caught that while we were sitting there. That like, is so crazy. And the weird part, it sounds like two guys laughing. Mm. And if you listen, they're clear. Like the laughs are clear. No static at all. responded to it. she's just asking more questions we're not even acknowledging we're hearing anything that is like 
well. <laughs> this reminds me of the Haunted Mansion at Disney, like somebody playing like the yeah, audience yeah. Yeah. or something. And and we didn't turn it up or anything. That's as loud as he was. He was super loud. We were like, oh, what the hell? That um, was crisp. Yeah, that laugh was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then this was one thing down there too. This girl, um, these people, it was three people, two girls and a guy, and they're asking, they're using divining rods, dowsing rods, and asking questions at the pool table room. And um, she gets scratched. So you can see the scratches on her back. And then they freak out, come upstairs after this all happened. And then they see a shadow figure in the dining room. So they start filming and they catch this other thing. So but I'm going to show you her. It's just like pretty clear that she. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. yeah, like you've been upset. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like her whole back is just like. Wow. And now it's up higher. Oh, my God. I told you I felt something itching. Yeah, that's how red she is on her back, too. Yeah, that's, that's higher than it was before. No, she's holding the rod, so she's not moving at all. She's saying this, though. Wow. Was it you that. Oh, hi, man. So do you find it's mostly women who get scratched and stuff like that? No, it's both. It's been all different people. All different things happen to everybody. Like, we've had guys have sleep paralysis where they're frozen. Yeah. They wake up in the morning. The one guy was all freaked out because he, he's never had anything like that happen. And he wasn't, he's not in the paranormal at all. His wife was. That's why they were here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he wasn't into this stuff at all. He's like, oh, it's stupid, you know. Then the morning he's literally laying there like, what the hell? He couldn't move and it was freaking him out. And he also couldn't breathe, so he was having like trouble breathing. So mm. whatever it was was messing with them. And this is that same group. Okay, I'll play this for you because this is weird. So this happened right. Okay, so those guys came up here after getting scratched and they were going to eat. And, um, the girl had her cell phone on her, but she hadn't been using it. And she threw it on the table and she went to use the bathroom off the dining room there. Mm -hmm. And she's got facial re recognition on her phone. Mm -hmm. So she's in the bathroom, puts her phone down. Um, but she'd been there for a little while. And then they come in there filming because there's sh shadow stuff moving in the dining room. And then her phone goes on without her face while she's in the bathroom. And it picks Pandora and starts playing music <laughs> in the recorder. So... We have a paranormal team here, Grace on Paranormal. We do public events and they like help out, but they've been doing stuff. Are you guys from this area at all? No, no from Nova Canada. Scotia. Yeah, Nova oh, Scotia. Nova Scotia. Okay, wow, so you guys are from far. Um, so locally in Buffalo, there's like a couple, like a haunted railroad station and summer places. And my team used to work for those other places. So they've been doing this forever. So it was super funny. And um, so they know what they're doing, which is even funnier because they catch stuff here. Like they said, they've never seen it anywhere. Mm -hmm. They've been doing this for like 25 years. So. The one guy, I was in the kids' room with him. I was sitting on the chair where there's like a big monkey at the end of the bunk beds. Mm -hmm. And then he was sitting on the bunk bed and he had a key, um, SLS camera. So he's filming because we he was said he was picking up a stick figure by the door. So he started filming with the SLS. And then I'm like, well, let's ask him UP, see if they want to answer or talk to us. So um, I hit record. The sound you hear is me hitting record and then I put it on the dresser. So that the fiddling sound is me just hitting record and putting it on the dresser. Okay. But while I do that, I catch a kid saying baby. He says baby, and I'm sitting with all the dolls. And the dolls have gone, like there's some of the giggle and stuff, that have gone off by themselves. So. Oh, wow. And there's a little boy spirit in that room. Mm -hmm. We know that from the previous owners, because he used to mess, mess with her son and wake him up at night and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, so you hear this kid say baby. I repeat it a couple times so you can hear it. But it's clear like the guys laugh. Okay. And then I start to talk, and I sound distorted. I sound like a regular MVP. So. Baby. Baby. Wow. I repeated it so you could hear it. Yeah. Because it's so weirdly clear. Yeah, very clear. And you can actually hear him say baby. Like, what? Baby. Oh, yeah. Like you can hear like his lips. Do you know what I'm saying? Like actually saying baby. Wow. Okay, we're in the kids' room and it's our time for tea. Yeah, and then you so can I sound distorted. Yeah. Wow. And he doesn't say anything else. The whole time I was recording, I didn't hear it till we played back. That's so but crazy. Isn't that weird. That is. I'm mind blown right now. <gasps> Me too. I'm literally speechless. Yeah, but it's weird here. It seems like quiet, but it's bizarre. <laughs> and then I'll play one more for you. Just because this one's sort of cool. 
Um, this is, um, there's another paranormal team in here. Friends of ours were here, six people, and they wanted to have a big seance downstairs. So we were in the dining room having a seance. They wanted to do that to bring spirits into the house, and then they put cameras and recorders in all the bedrooms and closed the doors. Mm -hmm. And then after the seance, they wanted to go listen to see what was going on up there. And they caught in the green room, which is the room right above this one here. The green room has the big headboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they got this guy saying, screw you, get out. And, <laughs> and the thing that's funny is that you hear what well, sounds like footsteps, and then you hear their paranormal music box go off, like something triggers it and makes it go off. This is also where they caught that shadow figure on the bed, that shadow thing I first showed you, mm -hmm. that same room. Um, but you hear this guy say, screw you, get out. Like, like you, because you hear arguing here all the time. Mm -hmm. You hear two men fighting, you'll hear a man and a woman in the basement, and it sounds like audibles. It's not just recordings, it's you'll hear talking. Wow. It's really, really weird. Holy. Then it's freaking clear. I mean, I, I have been a psychic for a long, long time. I help a lot of paranormal teams out. I've done a lot of investigations in other locations for other groups and stuff. And I always help out, like, if they want someone to come in. I've never heard EVPs like this stuff. Like, mm -hmm. it's clear. It's crazy. Yeah, like, EVPs are so always clear. like, what did it say? <laughs> you know, like, these yeah. are crazy. They are. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Um, and those are just some, but. Damn. Thank yep. you so much yes, for sharing. Sure. Yeah, thank you. That's amazing. I'm mind blown. I'm so <laughs> That's excited. Some serious poltergeist activity too. Oh god, yeah. This wow. one we were. I'll just play one more, and then you guys. <laughs> <laughs> just because this was on here too. Um. What this is is uh, there's a friend of ours over. He was doing some pieces at the top of the stairs, and I was up there with him at the, the very top of the stairwell. And then at the bottom of the stairwell here, there's a stand-up lamp. That like that pretty like um, stained glass lamp. Mm -hmm. And um, we were standing at the top of the stairs and he were, he caught it. And you hear me say, what was that? Cause we saw a black shape come flying at us up the hallway and there was like this weird flash. And then you hear the light bulb explode right here. And it's right, cause I was sitting in the chair up there and my back was to the light. You know what I'm saying? Like at the top? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And we're like, what the, it's freaking loud. And I've never seen or seen a light bulb do this before I heard it, but you, we caught it, the sound. Like wow. it exploded into yeah, the lamp out. But we were upstairs. We went down here. It was it was like down the stairwell. Wow. Because we were like, what the heck? And in person it was loud. We were both were like, what in the hell? But Oh my. Yeah. Okay. I always leave that light on, it's like a nightlight. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I turn it off and on. So it's why did it explode right while we're asking questions, you know? Yeah. Weird. But they're really interactive here. They're very touchy-feely. They're very much, they'll let you know they're around. Like, you'll pick up um, a couple weird things. Someone, a couple of people died of pneumonia. Lots of breathing issues. So you'll feel like a pressure on your chest. It feels like you can't breathe. Or if they'll feel a sharp pain. Mm -hmm. uh, the one man did pass when he crushed by a racehorse. So he had, like, physical injuries that he died of. And he was in the green room. But you'll feel... Like the girls that were here last night, their back was absolutely killing them. And their arm, back, and shoulder, like they felt like their neck was twisted or wow. totally messed up. And they were trying to like get out of the room. As soon as they leave the room, it would go away. So they sort of put it on, on you how they died. And the man who was the, there was a drinker, there was a guy who was a bad drunk, who was a farmhand who lived here. Mm -hmm. And he helped out an old lady who lived here for a long, long time. And she passed in like 2000. So he died, I think, in the 1970s. This man, Jay Crowley, was his name. Okay. So they found him at the bottom of the stairs. Um, he had fallen. And so either. Downstairs? Yeah, the very downstairs where the pool table area is. Okay. When you guys go down there, there's like a big bulkhead door that you can open, and, and it's got big stone steps that takes you like to the barns and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where they found him, though. So the neighbors were telling me they, that he had either fell, hit his head, something weird happened, that's where he was. But he was a bad drinker. Um, the family told us that he would have to bail him out of jail, get him out of bars, and bring him home here all the time because he was always getting into trouble. So this guy had like a temper. He was sort of weird. Okay. Um, but people 
feel drunk when they go downstairs. They can feel, even though they haven't drunk anything, mm -hmm. you'll all of a sudden feel really dizzy, like you can't catch your balance, and it's super weird. Wow. And I okay. think he's around when he's down there. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that happens other places in the house too. People, people, because sometimes people will bring beer or wine or whatever if they're goofing around just staying mm -hmm. overnight, or if they're ghost hunting. Like we're we're fine with that. If you're staying overnight, yes, you can. That's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um, of course. So that's happened too with people just having like one glass of wine and all of a sudden they feel absolutely drunk. No. They have to go lay down. Like wow. it's really weird. So he's drunk. That's why you'll see little bottles of booze everywhere in the house saying cigars, because mm -hmm. people smell cigar smoke, they smell alcohol. You know, but then they were rum runners too. Family lived here. Okay. They used to they used to do that in the seventeen or eighteen like seventies, sixties. And then okay. there's rumors that there was a speakeasy here as well. Nineteen hmm. twenties and thirties. Okay. Down no, the it's basement. kinda a perfect spot for it, really. Yeah. Yeah, you're hidden. You know, no one's gonna know. Yeah. yeah. Plus they're all involved in politics, so they're all hooked up and mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Yeah. And they have the racetracks, so they're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Of there. course, yeah. So rum running, underground railroad, you know, whole nine yards. All kinds of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Gambling and all kinds of stuff. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wild. So lots of lots of different layers. Lots of things you can ask questions about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah, much, sure. Heather. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> so like, where, where do we even start? But pay attention how you feel. Like so, if you feel like um, goosebumps or cold chills or whatever. Because you'll sort of know when they're around you. It's weird. They, mm -hmm. they literally pull your hair up. They'll do weird stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, be careful, guys. So, <laughs> but that's too. The, the guys, too, though. I mean, they do. They mess with the guys. I've had guys had their um, jackets pulled. Like, somebody's tugging on you. Jeez. Super weird. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Right but here, we're, I'm always like, okay. <laughs> no, like, I try and, you know. Yeah. Let them know what I'm doing ahead of time, like if I have to paint something or do something. Right. Yeah. Warn them, like, hey, I'm going to be doing this, or this is going on. And, mm -hmm. you know. But then I found out we're blood re I'm blood related to the Root family. Who used to you live here. stopped it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so they're my cousins. So, yeah, we, we were doing DNA research, my cousin was. And he's going, yeah, we're, we're actually, what we are is like two or three times back, great grandfather um, Joshua Root is, we have the same grandfather. And then he had three boys. This is the Thomas line from the three boys. We were, we're the Joshua Jr. So we're blood related. We're literally cousins. And, and the creepy part is when they were all first cousins was when they were living here. And did you know that before you moved no. into the house? Like no idea? Nope. Wow. That's... No idea. No. That's they kept fun. telling me that. The yeah. ghosts here were like, well, we're bringing family back to the house. No way. And I'm like... I just thought they might, because I come from a big family. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of kids in my family. My husband has a lot of kids in his family. So we just figured we have a lot of events here. We have like Christmas and Thanksgiving stuff here. Mm -hmm. like, I think you'll have like 50 people in here. Yeah. <laughs> so did I just thought they might. Did you yeah. feel oddly drawn to the house? No. No. No, I had my own house. I already owned a house because my husband and I, we met like eight years ago, but I was I had my own house near to Buffalo. So I was living in the suburbs there. Okay. And I didn't, I didn't want to move because... I was happy there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's where I grew up. Um, but he lived in the country, so he wanted to be out. He wanted some land. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, if we're going to do that, I want something older. Because I like the bigger, older mm -hmm. ones. But, but, yeah. So you get the portal of New York. Well, <laughs> yeah. Super weird. <laughs> yes. Right here. Yay. Oh, my gosh. It's mm -hmm. wow. amazing, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. So... Good luck, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Yeah, Sounds I'm good. actually kind of glad we're not staying around. Well, <laughs> honestly, you know, like when we moved in here, we had to renovate our part of the house. We had to put like another full bathroom in and do all that. And so while we were doing that, we had to stay in one of the rooms here. Mm -hmm. So like the only room I felt comfortable in was the gold room. Yeah. I would not sleep in the green room. I won't sleep in the red room. Mm -hmm. I would because I was feeling all the rooms out. I'm like absolutely not. The green room was just messed up. Like you just feel like someone's standing there, in there. Just someone's in there. Yeah, you know that's I mean? exactly what mm -hmm. it felt. Like. I didn't mm -hmm. feel like I was like uh, we were kind of standing up there, and I was like, mm -hmm. "Oh, it'd be nice to sit down." And the bed was right behind me, and mm -hmm. I was like, "Somebody does not want me to sit on that bed." It feels like you know when you're a little kid and you go into your parents' room, you're not supposed to be in there. Yeah. And you're like going through the drawers and stuff. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the feeling you get, like you're being watched. Like, what are you doing here? It's my yeah. room. Get out of here. That's the feeling you get, and I'm like, "Whoa!" I'm like literally seeing this. And I'm like, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. 
have fun in there. And the weird part is the lady who lived here before me, uh, that her name is Ginger, she had six kids. And um, she felt so uncomfortable. She was also psychic, though. But she said she felt so weirded out because that's basically the master bedroom. She used the gold room, too. Her kids all used the other rooms, you know, because we, we separated that back part where we are. Mm -hmm. But at the time, there were other rooms back there. So her kids took all those other rooms, but no one wanted the green room. And that's like the biggest room, but all the kids felt really weirded out in there. So she just used it for storage. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah, so no one stayed in that room. <laughs> Which is super weird. Mm -hmm. Have six kids, and like, none of them were like, no. Yeah. You'd think there'd be one that would just be like, oh. She said that we tried for a little bit, but then they were like, no. It was just too weird. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she just gave up and she used to put boxes and stuff in there. <laughs> and you'll notice when you walk into the green room, there's a picture on the wall right to the right. And that was taken in the 1980s. That was on the old lady who lived here, the lady who was blind and all that stuff. She died in 2000. But um, neighbors came in. They had no idea she was living here by herself. They thought the house was abandoned because she was blind because there's mm -hmm. no lights on. So they came in for adult protective services and they took pictures of the house to show them this is how she's living. Like there's a lot of damage upstairs. There were holes in the windows and all kinds of, uh, it was a mess. The mm -hmm. house did not look like this. The upstairs didn't. So they took pictures. If you look at the picture that's on the wall, that's the picture they took. And there's a, a old timey uh, Ouija board on the table, like as soon as you look in. And there's a chair where the windows are and there's a shadow figure sitting in the chair. It looks skeletal. Wow. He's big, life size, sitting in the chair. So if you look at the picture, you know, use your cell phone. I don't know how bright the lights are in there, but you'll yeah. see it. Okay. It's super creepy. Wow. Okay. I'll super creepy. Because the neighbors are showing me pictures, like, oh, this is what the rooms look like. I'm like, what's in the chair? Like, what is that? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I think it's just, I don't know. They, wow. Like, they weren't paranormal people. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> There's something <laughs> sitting in that chair. <laughs> oh my god. You know, okay. yeah. super messed up. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So check that picture because it's a weird one. Yes, definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright guys. Thank Bye. You. I appreciate Bye. that. Everything. Thank yes. <laughs> and keep me posted. If you guys have questions or anything, if you need anything, let me know. Oh, for no one else. Are you filming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you filming me? I was filming that. <laughs> She's just talking to herself. So yeah, we're going to go into this thing. This is nuts. This is so cool. Asylum. An old asylum. Whoa. So Eva and I actually came here when I was here a couple days ago and I, we saw a spirit standing in one of these windows. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. He was there, right? He was there. Yeah, you can't do the Australian accent. You're not the it was there. It. What do you mean, mate? No, you're better at Put another British. shrimp on the barbie. Oh, I guess you're not bad. <laughs> From the land down under. Yeah. Kind yeah. of. Kind of. I'm not gonna say I can do that, but... Whoa. Whoa. This is crazy. Love this already. It has like shots of it back in the day. So this is what it was like when it was abandoned and this is what they turned it into. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. Like even the walls are here. Look, it's just like they speak hauntedness. All this stuff to you. Oh, turn of the century wheelchair too. Nice. I think it's from the, uh, I think our wheelchair at home is actually older. Really? Yeah, I think it's 1920s. Oh, it was older? Yeah, ours is like turn of the century 1800s. Ours is 18, late 1800s. Like yeah. just before the 1900s. Yeah. Like turn of the century wheelchair. Yeah. 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 It's like in Finding Nemo, like, don't touch the butt. Don't touch the butt. Don't touch the butt. <laughs> 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 mine. Mine, mine, mine. Do you pick up anything in here, Charles? Um, not currently, but I'm just kind of enjoying the moment. True. They're like basing this off like a mental health oh, treatment yeah. in a way. Right. So the, it's kind of like rehabilitation. And that's the wing that was lost right here. So like what you see now outside is like about that much. And then this whole side is the abandoned part. So that whole side went that way. And you see the, how it's, it wings out? Mm -hmm. That's the Kirk Bike plan. Don't know what to think. Like I'm keeping my voice down first off. I don't want to be that one guy that's super loud. So 
apologize, uh, but you feel so not alone. So awesome. I love the vibe in here so much. What is happening right now? You good? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what's happening right now, but I guess it's just going down. I'm just being silly. No, there's nothing I'm down here. There's like nothing. This might actually be a little bit longer of a vlog than I planned. Where are you taking this, Chels? I I don't know. I was just wandering. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was hiding, waiting for you. I was trying to scare you guys. I hope you don't say the words. Uh -oh. I live here now anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's not let the spirits take over me anymore. Oh my. Wow. This is vibes. This is immaculate, guys. Damn, it's a tall ass door. It's a damn shelf on this door. That's <laughs> helpful. So we'll give you guys a little bit of a tour here. It's our first times. Well, actually, it's my first time here. Yeah, I was here before you. Here Apparently, she lives in Buffalo now. I am. What Chelsea. are we calling Buffalo, 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 what? what are Buffalonians. Buffalonians. You got it. Well, found myself some uh, some orange water. I made it myself. Freshly <laughs> yeah. squeezed. Did you order yourself? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Freshly That's squeezed. Or did you pick anything up over here? Not really. Just like heaviness and random spots. What are you laughing about? Come on, you literally smell everything. You sniff anything I smell and everything. Burning or like some. No, you got it. What? You got this? Can you tell that those yours? Pick up my window, Kim? I think I that window and I had the feeling, I was feeling like, why did he leave me here? I was like looking at the garden out there area and I just like was waiting. There's a certain smell. Mm -hmm. It's hospitaling. Go right uh, here in the middle and no, smell. smell right here. It smells like a sterile hospital right through here. It does. Yeah. Why does it smell like a sterile hospital? It's now a hotel. It's like the residual like, smell of the hospital. Right next to it. I want to know if this was like the actual hospital way where they would perform like surgeries or anything else. Kind I want it so chemical into the woods or the walls. Yeah. yeah true, eh? And it, we only smell it in this area. It's like this floor and up. I have a question for you. Yes, I have an answer. Um, I don't actually hear it, but my mind is hearing it. Gurneys. Mm -hmm. Squeaking of the, the wheels. Mm -hmm. Do you pick up on that too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mostly in those main hallways. I do right here. And a lot of nurses. Nurses? A lot of nurses is kind of what's been going through my head. Mm. Yeah. I just can't get rid of the smell. No, it's, it's it does so smell like a hospital. Down. It smells like the sterile hospital. I smell burning for a second. Now, I think you gotta there. remember this place, I think, was closed in the 70s. Oh. And Jesus. you can still smell that hospital smell. So this has turned into like a huge explorer for you guys. <laughs> Are, no. I, they go over this early. Yeah, you picked up some. Hello? Hello? Oh, shh. Right, I got like, like someone standing here just kind of waiting. I'm kind of similar to your experience. Mm -hmm. Kind of just like waiting for something, waiting to be picked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like they used to let the clients out here. And just sit. Well, they were everywhere, right? It was overpopulated. Well, that's what I mean. I can just picture a person on a wheelchair mm -hmm. right there, just looking out, and like people over there. Yeah. This is the um, the arches are a major component to the Kirkbride design. Okay. And part of it was to allow the patients to feel more at ease at the hospital with the constant window and airflow. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Okay. So this is called the historic stairs. 
And I guess we're all going up. Yes. I don't know what's happening, guys. We're just here for the ride. Whoa. Oh, can you and Ben check the door? Yeah, they're locked. All right, we're going to have to call the main desk. <laughs> we're stuck in here. <laughs> My God. No. There's no way. That one's locked? No way. Oh, it's locked. I have a feeling the bottom one might be. Just in case people do this, I don't think they would lock it. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Back inside. <laughs> We're good. Oh. <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> All right. Back in we go. Back in we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I really don't know what this vlog is anymore. We're just <laughs> doing loops around this. Well, it's now a hotel. The Richardson Hotel. So we are at Wildwood Sanatorium. We're gonna end off this vlog right now. Um, it's been a really weird, long, random vlog, and I apologize for that, but we're gonna be investigating Wildwood tonight. We got Jeff in there right now somewhere. I don't know what is happening to that curtain. Something's, something's going on right there. Anyways, we're getting the crew ready. You ready to go? <laughs> Happy dance. Okay, she's doing backflips and stuff. <laughs> no, I'm here, excited. Pop a backflip. All right. <laughs> I actually thought you were gonna do it. I, was like, I, I, I see stars. I did that way too quick. Yeah. I can only do a round off. I'm not that good. Anyways, I'll show you guys the front of this real quick, and then I'm gonna end off this vlog once and for all. It's been a long road trip and this is pretty much like already been a quarter of our trip and I've only done one vlog it's because we've just been driving. So this is what it looks like. We're actually meeting up with Angelo in a bit and uh, two other spontaneous mystery guests. So yeah, our first time out wild with everybody. This is crazy. Gotta get that B-roll. Get that B-roll. Before we end off this vlog, I just want to mention that I'm really proud of you guys for being so patient with us while we're touring and traveling here in America. It might be a little bit delayed with the main channels, but once we're back home, we'll actually get those out for you guys and all that stuff. So yeah, really appreciate your patience while we do this because it's sometimes it's not easy to edit on the roads and all that stuff. So yeah, we're gonna stack and then drop it. Anyways, that is it for this vlog. Love you guys so much. If you are new here, smash that like button. Make sure you're following our main channel too. If you guys are just popping in here randomly, just finding us randomly, we do have a main channel where we do most of our investigations and we put them on that channel and stuff like that. This is only our daily life. So at this point, we're heading out. So I guess we will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace and love.